Jamaica, the land of wood and water, where the sun is warm and rivers are cool. A country that's rich in culture, from the bustling streets of Kingston to the cool hills of Manchester and the wide shores of Westmoreland. From our music to our beaches, Jamaica's imprint is extended far and wide across the globe. If our motto out of many one people hints at anything, it's that our culture is dynamic, with influences from all over the world. Our food is no different. Jamaican cuisine is a deep fusion of influences and flavors stemming from many parts of the world. From the beef patty to Blue Mountain coffee, Jamaican gastronomy has many influences and our dishes are as rich in history as they are in flavor. Jamaican food is as dear to us as our national flag, but there's one dish that reigns supreme, Jamaican jerk. Welcome to Jerk Pan. In this series, we explore the origins and the growth of Jamaican jerk. Jamaican and pan, pan, sita, jerk are original, but I just threw water down away. Modern days, man, I'm typewriter to computer, to some like a full full camera to digital. Camera. Yes, I just upgrade, but I see everything in I did. Jerk chicken tends to want to eat um, low fat. The spice they put alongside with it, like the pimento and the pepper, like the pan chicken is more like like it's similar to my oven. Smoke you get from this chicken. Yeah. That way you get from your jerk chicken. Yeah. Nice and juicy. Nice and juicy. Right. 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 Doing it on the, the stick by the fermenter wood or the sweet wood, you can actually taste the, 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 the wood in, wood flavor. So when you do it on the, the drum now, then you have a different taste. You have more seasoning taste to the drum. When you do it on the wood now, you have more wood taste. Wood taste. Jerk chicken is one of the most popular foods to ever come out of Jamaica. It's almost poetic. Seeing a crowd of people gravitate towards a pan that's surrounded by smoke, but it has the sweet aroma of chicken and spices. In today's episode, we explore the history of jerk. What started this whole jerk phenomenon? You walk in by and you, you know it's just catch that little. Yeah. My number one spot for jerk chicken, north side. My favorite spot. Jerk chicken, my say. Historians say there are two possible origins of jerk. One is that the Coromante hunters of West Africa perfected it before being brought to Jamaica. But there's no set of people named Coromante. There's just a little place named Coromante you now where they take our slave from now and bring them to the dungeon in Ghana before they bring them to the West here. These warriors would roast their meat over hot coals, a practice they brought with them when they were captured and sold into slavery and taken to the region now known as Boston Beach. Located in Portland, Jamaica, Boston is often referred to as the Mecca of Jerk, thanks to the way that the locals have preserved traditional jerking methods. The second tradition claims that over 2,500 years ago, during the time when the indigenous Tainos from South America settled in Jamaica, they smoked and dried their meat in the sun. When Christopher Columbus arrived in Jamaica in 1492, he oversaw the brutal mass murder of these Taino Arawak people. And later, he brought those enslaved Africans to the island to work on the then Spanish-owned plantations. So some of the African slaves escaped the plantations and went into hiding in the mountains living in refugee communities. So these runaways would later be known as the Maroons, and they adopted a similar technique that the Tainos used. They use salt, pepper, and spices to preserve the wild boar meat that they hunted as a means of survival. By the time the Maroons signed a peace treaty with the British, they no longer needed to hide. So soon they transitioned to an above-ground cooking method, which allowed the meat to cook atop pimento wood over the fire, and that drastically reduced the cooking time. This technique for jerk eventually made its way to Buckley Beach, which is now known as Boston Beach, an area that continues to maintain the ancestral process of jerking.
That's it for this week's episode of Jerkpan. Thank you so much for watching. Next time on Jerkpan, we find out about the spices and vegetables that combine to make Jamaican jerk seasoning. What goes into this world famous blend and where can one find these items? We also meet Chef Brittany Blackwood from B&B Catering who introduces us to her special jerk infused cookout menu. Down the Road is an online series that specializes in sharing Jamaican travel experiences. We share many aspects of Jamaican culture, including history, food, music, and events. If you like what you've seen in this video, consider subscribing to our channel and turning on those post notifications so you don't miss an episode. Thanks for watching.